The pendulum test, standard piece of equipment for measuring uh, slip, uh, skid resistance of highway materials or slipperiness of other materials. This test requires a standard piece of equipment and what happens is this arm swings and a rubber slider here passes across the material and up the other side and as it does so it takes with it a pointer which allows us to see how much this has slowed this as it's gone across. So if it's a very slippery material we will have a low value and if it is a material which is not, uh, not slippery we will get quite a high value. In order that we are testing the same every time we have lots of things that remain standard. This is a particular type of rubber slider of a particular width and a particular length. The mass of this arm has to be in a certain uh, requirement, certain tolerance and the distance here travelled has to be the same. And all of those are specified and in order that we can get repeatable conditions we repeat the test wet through every time. So it is repeated soaked every time. Water at a standard temperature, room at a standard temperature and we simply set the pointer release this arm and as we can see there that is giving us a reading of 48. We repeat the test five times at each position on the curb and we've done that in three positions on the, on the curb. Providing the results at each position lie within a small bandwidth we're allowed to then take the average. And we've measured that then or we've assessed that against this assessing the slip resistance of flooring which is a health and safety document uh, publication and this document, the results we got were all 45 plus which gave us a very low slip potential, in fact it was well above the very low slip potential uh, requirement. So in its pristine condition this curb has very low slip resistance potential. As we noted earlier in the laboratory the test was carried out in accordance with BSEN 13036 part 4, the pendulum test. The curb was tested at three points on the left, in the centre and on the right. And the results that we got were 47, 45 and 54. Those were the averages, all of which complied with the requirements with regards to the difference between the highest and the lowest. These results were then interpreted against the document published by the Health and Safety Executive which is called Assessing the Slip Resistance of Flooring. On Table 1 within that document there are values of uh, pendulum test values which classify the uh, material as being either high slip potential, moderate slip potential or low slip potential. Any product being tested which has a pendulum test value of 36 or more is deemed to be low slip potential. And as the minimum result that we had on the curve is 45, all three of those results are well above uh, the requirement for a low slip potential product.